Rivers, the arteries of the earth, connecting worlds and moving water on this planet. Oregon has an essential network of rivers. Thousands of creeks and streams converge with our rivers to create the watersheds that define our landscape, communities, and our lives. There are over 2.4 million acres of federal lands in western Oregon that are designated as ONC lands. The protected headwaters of our rivers originate on your public lands and provide clean drinking water to millions of Oregonians. Oregon's legendary rivers have been at the center of culture for thousands of years. Bountiful, iconic rivers, teeming with life and supporting all living organisms. But your rivers and the clean water they provide are at risk. Rivers like the Rogue, the Umpqua, the Alsi, the Nestucca, the Trask, the Clackamas, and many other rivers are at risk. Congressman Peter DeFazio has proposed a bill to dramatically reduce protections for rivers and streams on over 1.5 million acres of public lands, which is more than eight times the size of Crater Lake National Park. These ONC lands would be opened up for industrial clear-cut logging. Prior to 1971, there were virtually no restrictions to logging near rivers and streams. By 1993, the federal government adopted the Northwest Forest Plan, which provided additional protections and allowed our rivers to recover from decades of unsustainable timber harvests. Today, Oregon's rules for logging on private and state lands lags far behind those in California and Washington. Congressman DeFazio's bill would remove federal protections and allow these public lands to be managed under the same state regulations for private timber lands, which are far less protective. Can't, you, you can't look anywhere else for water except in, in the clean water except in the stream, but there's many places you can look for timber. The period of destruction was from the 50s, mid-50s, and to the, around 1970. The fish runs were declining, water was warming up. They were cutting indiscriminately right through the creeks and everything. So that's when we, everyone got together and we finally decided, hey, we have to have some, a little bit of correction here. One of the main contributors to improvement was the leaving buffers along the streams and the roads. The buffers are so important. Congressman DeFazio's new bill would reduce streamside buffers by 50% on 1.5 million acres of public lands. It is a travesty that anyone in the scientific community that would say, hey, we can re reduce this or eliminate it and still not have any problem. Even in the most minuscule headwater streams, every little stream counts. Every little tiny stream counts. Many uh, municipalities that derive their water supplies from the streams, it costs them that much more to get their water ready for drinking. There's been a heck of a lot more jobs lost through the improvement in production, in the mills, and in the woods than there has been by the loss of timber. The Oregon Forest Practices Act, which regulates timber harvest on private lands, allows for logging next to our streams on steep slopes and unstable soils. There are no meaningful restrictions on the use of herbicides or on building forest roads that cause chronic pollution to our waters. They just need an average of a 40-foot buffer. So any place that there are small, unmarketable trees, they'll leave them. And any place that there's a marketable tree, even right next to the water, they'll just come down and take it. 
but you can see the thin buffers get hit by a wind and they fall right over. Just off the main river here, but this is where the clear cuts really start. You can see it here and then it goes for the entire length of this spawning trip. The ridges on both sides have been cut in the last 10 years. These clear cuts, you know, high in this, you know, sacred headwaters, um, you know, are putting through the, through the roads uh, and through the cuts themselves, um, but especially the roads are just pumping silt into the, into the spawning trip, smothering eggs uh, that have been laid. The, the day they cut it was pretty sad, but it wasn't too long later that I came in and they were uh, putting the herbicide down. And the way they do that is they fly a helicopter with these big booms out the side and they blanket the clear cuts with herbicide. Today, if you were to take a measurement in any of the water around here of herbicide, you know, you'd find very little. But on those days after they spray, you know, these, all the tribs and the river itself is flowing with toxic levels of, of uh, herbicide. Toxic herbicide use on private forest lands impacts human and aquatic health. Oregon has the weakest regulations regarding their use in the Pacific Northwest. Aerial application of toxic herbicides is not allowed on our public lands. Private timber owners in Oregon, however, are allowed to use these toxic chemicals aggressively and even close to streams. Atrazine, which is banned in Europe, enters waterways through logging roads and aerial drift. The Oregon Health Authority has confirmed the presence of atrazine in people living near private forest lands and the surrounding waterways. Congressman DeFazio's bill would allow the use of these chemicals on our public lands. The rivers are a big reason why we live here. It's a periwinkle, Mama. I found him. The, the natural world, the, the rivers, the clean water, the salmon, the steelhead, the trees, the hiking, the river trips, the camping, that's a huge part of, of who we are and our heritage, our identity, and what we want to pass on to our kids. This water flows through our faucets at home. Clean water is so fundamental to the health of our families and the health of our kids. And what happens on these rivers impacts our health and the health of our communities. Well, we're, we're really lucky as a family. Um, we're, we're expecting our second little boy in a couple months and it's just there's so much to look forward to and I really want him and, and both of our kids to have so many opportunities to come to places like this and experience the thrill and the wonder and the solitude that only wild places can bring, that only wild rivers can bring. Senator Ron Wyden is in the process of developing his proposal for managing these public lands. He has the opportunity to rectify the threats to clean water proposed in Congressman DeFazio's bill and ensure that protections for our rivers are maintained for future generations. Please contact Senator Ron Wyden and voice your support for protecting our waters. For my health. My purpose. For my inspiration. For my drinking water. For my family. For my garden. For my community. For my spirit. I love rivers! Get involved at PacificRivers.org.